is she? How did she build a flying boat when she failed physics in high school? This is Sampriti. I'm Sampriti and I'm the founder and CEO of Naviable. An entrepreneur living in San Francisco, but she did not always live here. She was born and raised 8,000 miles away in Kolkata, India. And no, she was not a top student at high school. I actually failed physics in high school. No, she did not go to a top college. Actually, I went to a community college, a small college in Calcutta. I did not go into any of the top schools. And no, she did not have access to the internet as a kid. I only got internet at home at age 20. Her teacher even said to her that she should focus on becoming a housewife. I was not the best in math in high school, and he thought that the best I could be was probably a housewife or, you know, for on a much smaller job. So how did she end up here in San Francisco with a flying boat? You know, as Steve Jobs said, that the world is built by people no more smarter than you and I. So why not go for something audacious, something you're passionate about, and just build it? This is where it gets interesting. At age 20, Sampriti decided to take control of her life. So she logged on the internet and searched for anything that had the word internship. She sent 540 cold emails asking anybody for an internship. 539 said no, and only one said yes. Well, in each of the 540 emails, I actually told them that what I can do for them, and only four responded. And then, ultimately, only one worked out, and that was an internship at Fermilab. And that's all she needed, her first opportunity. She flew to Chicago to work at a lab as a research assistant and there, she fell in love with science. She spent all her time researching physics and engineering. And then she got another internship at NASA. And then she got a master's at Ohio State and a PhD at MIT. All in less than 13 years of hard work. Well, in the last 13 years, I learned so much, and that gave me the confidence to tackle any kind of hard problems, whether it is designing nuclear reactors, or, you know, building flight controls, or building this flying boat. You can do that. Yes. Yes, a flying boat! She knew exactly how to build it! She moved to San Francisco, raised $12 million, hired a smart team, and designed an electric flying boat. It works just like an airplane, but the three wings are under the water. When the boat gets fast enough, the wings lift the boat above the waves. This is the wing. It lifts the whole thing up. And because this is electric, there's no noise. We're like above the water right here. See? You can see the thing goes down very, very deep. So cool. <laughs> this way, you can go super fast, super smooth, right on top of the ocean. Okay, check this out. These are waves from another boat. These are waves from another boat. And, and we don't feel them. We don't feel them because we're above the waves. This boat is also fully electric, which means there are no carbon emissions and no engine noise. This is like Tesla for the seas. That's why this is 10 times more efficient than normal boats. It takes less energy. You're actually 10 times more efficient than a traditional gas boat. And suddenly you open up a whole new opportunity of transportation on the water that was never ever possible before. And she's not stopping here. She thinks that one day we can have self-driving boats that go as fast as a taxi. So we can use the water as a highway. And we can do all of this, open up a whole new economy 
without hurting the oceans. I am so inspired by her story. A girl in India who failed physics, didn't go to a good college, didn't even get internet until age 20, is now here. Changing the world, inventing flying electric boats in San Francisco with the help of her incredible team. I think everybody has fears and insecurities, but when you have a sense of purpose and a mission, and if that's big enough, then you do it. Even if that feels a little bit scary, you know you have one life to go for it, and so you go for it. No matter who you are and where you live, you can change your life and you can change the world. What if Fermilabs never responded to your email? I would have sent another 500 email till I get a response. Ha, 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 ha.